Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, my name is Jun Hui. And this, uh, today I'll present my work, Stealing Hyperparameters in Machine Learning. And this is a joint work with uh, Nia Gong, my supervisor. And machine learning is, as a service uh, is an emerging technology to help users with limited computing power or limited machine learning exercise to learn machine learning models. And uh, several uh, machine learning uh, internet giants deploy machine learning as a service platforms, like Amazon deploys Amazon Web Service, Google deploys Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft deploys Microsoft Azure. And so uh, how machine learning as a service is used by users? And uh, this is an, an example. The first, a user uploads a training data set to machine learning as a service uh, platform, and then machine learning as a service train a machine learning model, and uh, uh, overall, the user is the prediction API, and then the user uploads a train testing data set to query this uh, prediction API to evaluate the performance. Uh, however, privacy is a big challenge for machine learning as a service. And for instance, uh, the model inversion attack re uh, use, uh, leverages the model predictions to infer the aggregate information of the training, the training samples. And uh, furthermore, the membership inference attack we are trying a uh, attack model and to predict if an input is a, uh, is a training data set or not. And a model extraction attack will uh, steer the model parameters by querying a learning machine learning model. And our work is a new privacy attack and it, it is called the hyperparameter stealing attack. And uh, hyperparameters are confidential for several machine learning other service. And so our attack is to steer the hyperparameters used by machine learning as a service. And one application scenario is that a user is an uh, attacker, and the, and the attacker can learn a, mach a machine learning model using the machine learning as a service with much, much less computational cost without sacrificing the performance. So now uh, I will present our work using the, uh, this outline. First, I will introduce some machine learning background, and then I will detail our hyperparameter stealing attack, and then I will evaluate our attacks and propose the defense. And finally, I will draw some conclusions. The machine learning background, uh, the machine learning concepts, and one key concept of, of machine learning is the objective function. In this work, we focus on the super, uh, supervised machine learning. The, supervised, the objective function of supervised machine learning uh, consists of a loss function and a regularization. The loss function, for instance, can be a least square and regularization can be uh, L2 norm. And the loss function is, re is related to the train instance and the label and the model parameters. And each instance is a feature factor. And the label can be a continuous value for regression problems and categorical value for classification. And the lambda is the hyperparameter. Uh, in this work, we focus on the hyperparameter that balance between the loss function and the regularization. However, uh, uh, and moreover, it can be uh, generalized to a multiple number of uh, hyperparameters. Machine learning tasks. And given the objective function, machine learning has two tasks. The one task is the hyperparameter learning. Uh, usually, we'll use the cross-validation to learn hyperparameters. However, cross-validation is time-consuming. And the other task is model parameter learning. Uh, model parameter learning is to learn model parameters by minimizing the objective function of a machine learning algorithm with a given uh, hyperparameter. And different machine learning algorithms will use different loss function and regularizations. So uh, given this, uh, uh, given machine learning objective and machine learning task, we can have the, this uh, system. So first, given the training data set, we first use some uh, hyperparameter learning algorithm to learn the hyperparameters. And then given the training data set and the learned hyperparameters, we will use some model parameter learning algorithm to learn the model parameters. And then uh, we, we can use the learned model parameters and the hyperparameters to evaluate the new test, the new uh, data sets. So I, I would, now I will show, the, show our hyperparameter stealing attack. The motivation. Um, existing privacy attacks on machine learning system focus on either uh, inferring the training data set or stealing the model parameters. But the hyperparameters are also critical for machine learning algorithms. Uh, and learning hyperparameters is 
time consuming. So uh, motivated by machine learning as a service, an attacker could be the user who aims to steal the hyperparameter for saving economical costs. And the threat model, I, uh, from two aspects. First is the uh, attacker's goal. The attacker's goal is to steal the hyperparameters. And for attacker's knowledge, first, we assume that the attacker knows the training data set. And this is easy to, to satisfy because the user is always the attacker. And the second is that attacker knows the machine learning algorithm. Uh, we know that certain machine learning platforms will publish the machine learning algorithms. For instance, the Amazon machine learning will use logistic regression, and Microsoft Azure can use logistic regression or support a vector machine. And third one is, is that we assume the attacker optionally knows the model parameters. Uh, if, the model, if the model parameters are, are unknown to an attacker, then, can, then we can first use the model extraction attack to steal the model parameters. Now, uh, I show the attack framework. The key observation is that uh, the learned model parameters of an machine learning algorithms are often a minimum or near a minimum of the objective function. And then, and, uh, and then the gradient of the objective function at the learned model parameters should be zero or about zero. And in this way, we can encode the relationships between the model parameters and hyperparameters. And so we leverage this observation to steal the hyperparameters. It consists of two steps. In step one, we set the gradient of the objective function at the model parameter to be zero. And then we have this uh, equation. Here, uh, for different machine learning algorithms, A and B are different. And, above, uh, and this equation is a system of linear equations about the hyperparameters. And here, the, the number of equations is more than the number of hyperparameters. So this system is overdetermined. And then in step two, we uh, use least square method to estimate the hyperparameters as follows. And our attack is uh, applicable to various machine learning algorithms. For instance, it can be applied to regression algorithms like ridge regression, Lasso, and uh, elasticate and kernel ridge regression. And also, it can be applied to classification algorithms like logistic regression, support vector machine. And, and moreover, it can be applied. It can be applied to neural networks. Here, we simply take uh, attacking ridge regression as an instance. For more details about attacking other machine learning algorithms, you can read our paper. The objective function of rich regression uh, has a least square loss and L2, L2 regularization. First, we set the derivative of the objective function with respect to the model parameters. And then we have the form of A and B. And then we have the estimated hyperparameter. Now the evaluation. Uh, first, I present our theoretical evaluation using two theorem, uh, theorems. The theorem one is an exact estimation. And that is, uh, if the learned model parameters are an exact minimum of the objective function, then the estimated value, hyperparameter value, equals the true hyperparameter va value. The theorem two is about uh, approximate estimation. That is, uh, if the model parameters is closer to the minimum uh, model parameters, then the estimation error is bounded by this equation. Here, uh, delta W is the difference between the, between the learned model parameters and the true model parameters. And, and the estimation error delta lambda is a linear uh, function about this difference. Now I, I, I do some uh, empirical, in, empirical evaluation. I will use uh, various data sets for regression and classification and we evaluate many regression algorithms and classification algorithms. And we use the relative estim estimation error as the evaluation metric. The first result is, a, is assume that attacker knows model parameters. And then we have the results for different uh, algorithms. First, we, uh, x axis here is a range of two hyperparameters, and the y axis is the relative esti estimation error, both in log 10 scale. And here we see that uh, the, x, the y x value of all figures are below negative two, which indicates that the relative error is about 1%, which is very small. And for uh, ridge regression and kernel, regr kernel ridge regression, we have an exact estimation 
because uh, we have the an analytical solutions for uh, read regression and current regression. So we have these two observations. First, our attack can accurately estimate the hyperparameters for all our study machine learning algorithms. And our attacks can more accurately estimate the hyperparameters for machine learning algorithms that have analytical solutions of model parameters. And this result is to show that if the model parameters are unknown to an attacker, uh, similarly, the x-ax is a, a range of uh, hyperparameters, and the y-axis is, is, is the relative esti estimation error. And here we see that the we see that the y-axis value are all below negative five, which indicates that our stack, can, our attack, can also applicable to these algorithms, even if we do not know the model parameters. So these results show that our attack can, can also accurately estimate these hyperparameters when model parameters are unknown. This is because we first use model extraction attack to steal model parameters, and the model model extraction attack can accurately steal the model parameters. Now, uh, we, we evaluate our attack on a real machine learning as a service, the Amazon machine learning. Here, we, we use two, method, two methods that users will use a machine learning as a service. The method one, this method, uh, the user first will upload an entire training data set to Amazon machine learning. And Amazon machine learning will use, this training, will use the entire training data set to learn hyperparameters and the model parameters. And then they will evaluate, attack, uh, the user will evaluate the testing data set by querying the learning machine learning model. However, uh, this method is accurate but inefficient. This is because M1 used the entire training data set to learn model parameters, so it is accurate. Uh, however, it also used the entire training data set to learn hyperparameters, so it is efficient. So another choice is M2. In M2, a user will upload a subset of the training data set to Amazon Machine Learning, and then the Amazon Machine Learning will learn hyperparameters and the model parameters over this subset, and then the user will evaluate the testing data set by querying the machine learning model over this subset. This method is efficient but uh, inaccurate. This is because uh, M2 use a subset to learn hyperparameters, so this is efficient. However, it, it, uh, it only leverage a subset of the data set to, train model, to learn model parameters, so it is inaccurate. So to address the issue of M1 and M2, and we uh, propose a technique, we propose method three, which use a train, retrain, and train, steer, and retrain strategy. The detail is as follows. First, the user will, up, will upload a subset of the training data set to Amazon Machine Learning. And Amazon Machine Learning use this subset to learn hyperparameters and model parameters. And then the user we steer the hyperparameters learned by Amazon Machine Learning using our attack. And then the user will upload the entire training data set and specify the steered hyperparameter to Amazon Machine Learning. And then the Amazon uh, Machine Learning will relearn the model parameters over this entire training data set and the hyperparameter. And finally, the user will evaluate the testing data set by querying the learned machine learning model. Here, because we learn hyperparameters using a subset of the training data set, so it is efficient. And we learn model parameters using the entire training data set, so it is accurate. And here, uh, we compare, compare the, the, uh, these three methods uh, on, the, on, a simple, on a bank data set using the Amazon machine learning. We use one half of the bank data set of training and the other half of testing. And we sample 15% and 3% of the training data set for M2 and M3. And Amazon will charge users according, the, according to the computational time. And then we uh, calculate the training cost and the re uh, relative error. So here, we see that uh, compared with M1, M3 uh, can save much training cost, but with a very small accuracy loss. And compared with M2, M3 has almost the same training cost, but the relative error is much more small. And then uh, we show the defense. And here uh, we, use, we use the rounding as a defense. 
first, we run the learned model parameters before sharing the model parameters to the user. For instance, running a parameter at 0 0.765 with one decimal is 0 0.9, and with two decimals is 0 0.88. And note that this running technique was also used by other work. And here is the defense results. And the xx is the number of decimals we keep. And in, in the left figure, it is the relative mean square error. And in the right figure, the y-axis is the relative estimation error. In the left figure, we see that the relative, the relative mean square error for the three methods are very slow. So it means that the rounding has a small impact on the model's performance. But in the right figure, we see that the rate regression has a very large relative estimation error. So rounding is effective for a rate regression. But for Lasso, we see that the relative uh, estimation error is still very small. So it means that the defense is not effective for Lasso. So the first uh, conclusion is that the rounding is not effective en enough for certain machine learning algorithms. And, uh, and also we see that the ridge regression and the kernel ridge regression have a larger relative error than the Lasso when we keep uh, the number of decimal to be one. Ridge regression and kernel ridge regression use L2 regularization, and Lasso use L1 regularization. So we can draw this conclusion. The L2 regularization is more secure than the L1 regularization. And then the conclusion. The first is uh, machine learning algorithms are vulnerable to hyperparameter stealing attacks. And all attacks can help users save economical costs on machine learning as on machine learning and the service platforms without sacrificing the testing performance. And we need new defense for our hyperparameter student attack. Uh, that's all. Thank you. We have time for a few questions. Um, <clears throat> so um, let me ask the first question. Um, I was wondering if you could um, um, sort of more precisely characterize what is the adversary model here. So, so what, what kind of adversary, what are the goals, what, are, what is the strength of the adversary in your, for your attacks? Uh, beg your pardon? Uh, the adversary model, like what is the adversary model here? Like what is the goal of the adversary and what are the, the, goal, the strengths? The goal. Right? the goal is, uh, the goal yeah. is that. Just, just to be clear, so in particular, like what's, you know, uh, the, the adversary for your attack compared to an adversary for a model extraction attack? Mm -hmm. how, how can we perform the model extraction attack on me? No. What, what is the adversary? Right. What is the adversary model? Um, just, uh, the, what is the goal and what is the power of the adversary? The power? Yeah, the capabilities and the capabilities knowledge. About, the, about my attack. Yeah. Mm. The capability is that, uh, uh, so, so, uh, uh, so uh, your meaning about capability is about what? Is about, uh, maybe we should take this offline. So let, let's uh, thank the speaker. Okay, so, sorry about that.